You idiot. We could have been... us. Officer Constable. JK Galloway here. Ooh, Shabow! Jumping in to Good Omens! And we're on to the finale, season two. Short one. Hopefully, season three is like eight episodes at least. But episode six, it's called Every Day. Hmm. Now that damn Dave Matthews song stuck in my head. Not a huge fan either. Sad. I don't know what song he's talking about. Every day. You're welcome. Got nothing. <laughs> they all sound the same. But last we left off was the uh, attack on the bookstore, essentially, while all the shop owners were there. They seem fine, except for one. Yeah. Mustachio got yanked out of there and just torn apart. Uh, but everyone else seemed like they got out okay, as far as I can tell. Or at least for the most part. Because we know that Tara and... Tara? I don't remember the two names right now, but the, the two women they're trying to get together that clearly have a spark, and like that they'll show heaven that that was the miracle they did. They're basically just trying to get out of trouble by making two people fall in love, but they're already in trouble with the other side. But Crowley volunteered to get arrested essentially and taken yeah. up to heaven. Yep. You know to get the matchbox because he wants to. Cracked the code of Gabriel in order to save Xerophil. Right. Hell yeah. I'm going to assume it happens because there is a season three. <laughs> it wouldn't just be Crowley, I would assume. But a lot of the comments uh, in the last episode called me out for saying that their, their relationship's not romantic. And everyone's like, of course it is, you silly, silly bitch. And it's like, we don't have verification of that. At least not on the show. A lot of people were like, oh, Terry Pratchett came out and said, of course they're romantic. It's like, bitch, it's not on the show. Maybe they'll kiss this episode, and I will be shown to be stupid. And that would make me happy, because they make each other happy. Not saying I don't think they should be romantic. I'm just saying I haven't seen it yet. I'm just saying they're, they're equals, and they're, they trust each other, and they, they do love each other, but I haven't seen a romantic. Have you? That's romantic in and of itself. Yeah, but I mean, like, physical, I guess. I don't, okay. I don't know. Like, do angels have penises? I watched Dogma. I saw what Alan Rickman did. Ken Doll. And that is canon for all angel stories. But no, that would be a lovely thing that happens. I'm not, you know, assuming it will. I'm just, they, they better both survive. I'm going to be very pissed if they don't. Because those two, that, like, the casting's so good. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, I'm sure they could have found two other people to play the roles. But holy shit of these two. Mm -hmm. Knocked it out of the park so hard. Like, I want them to do more, I want them to go on the road. Yeah. I want them to be Martin Short and Steve Martin. Have you seen any of, like, their little shorts that they put out? Where, like, they'll call one another and just have, like, random conversations? No. Oh. It's on YouTube or just... Like, they might TikTok be YouTube shorts. It might yeah. be, but like it, they're they're fucking adorable. They're, they they're they seem like they would be best friends. They are. Like, they're just killing it every day. Every day we're best friends. Mm -hmm. That's somewhat true. On occasion, yeah. no. It's not somewhat true. It is true. Well, she just said no. Not every day. You heard her. And then he does this shit, where he just twists. See? And twists. She just tried to twists. say that every day we get along. Meanwhile, every day he does this shit. She can't make up her mind. He just keeps twisting. twisting. I'm just listening to your words and reacting to them. It's very, it's just straightforward. You said what you said, and you don't want to take ownership of it. Gaslighter. She farts, lights it up. That's what she does. How are you? Brain dead. Are you happy you married me? Yes. Every day? Yes. Every day. <laughs> the kids are cute. I'll give you that. I did good there. You got the good ones. You got the good swimmers for those two. Anyway. 
Finale time, here we go. So it's everyone's gone except for I'll yeah. Need eight battery operated candles. They're in my desk drawer. So why were we all dancing? I thought it might make you realize that Maggie loved you. And then you'd fall in love with her. Heaven. Right. <laughs> Earth button. Records. records? You're a demon. I can't just... Do you know how much trouble I'll get into for this? It's fine. I'm forgetting about the bees. Bees? But you don't look like a bee. You look like, like a murder hornet or, or a snake or a... Bees. Oh! Right. Oh, what the hell? The hair. <laughs> Uh-oh. You just invited them in. Yeah. God damn it. Maggie? What just happened? I, I, I think I might have just told them they could come in. Get back, get back here now, fast. Please. Is there anybody there? I'm helping you, aren't I? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. The matchbook? I couldn't open it if I wanted to. I don't have clearance. You'd have to be a throne or a dominion or above. He's above. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? I haven't always been a demon, and they never changed their passwords. <laughs> You're not serious. Why do they keep going in the light? Everything ends. Time and the world is over. Nah. Nah. Yep. Pass. And may I ask why you're not seeing it? Surely. So I'm not going to answer so much. But you feel free to knock yourself out with all the asking. Anyway, Armageddon, the sequel, that's a nah. I think we've struck gold. Hello, Crowley. I didn't expect to ever see you again. Do we know each other? Go on. Show him the trial. You have refused to exercise your celestial authority, and you are henceforth removed from office. I see. You're casting me down to hell. Your memory of your time as Gabriel will be erased. You will be demoted. I'll just need to take off my clothes and clean out my desk then. You have a desk? Yes, I do. Encyclopedias? It's all online these days anyway. Oh, if you must. <laughs> <laughs> Encyclopedias. Doors opening. He dropped it. I can't find his memory anywhere. In fact, I can't find him in the building. He's left heaven. So he wiped his, his own memory. Put it in the what matchbox. A, what about the bar? Desperate measures must be taken. She's still there. I may have just started a war. I did the thing with the halo. You, you blew up your halo. <laughs> oh, hell was like that. Nah. We are at war. By 
finally. <laughs> Nobody's at war. Remind me to put in for your commendation. Sarcasm, yes? Yep. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Gabriel, he's here. Sometimes people call me Gabriel. Yeah, we did a thing, hiding miracle. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what you were doing. What was I doing? You were writing a message. I am in the fly. We saw that damn thing. Lord Bill's well. Be flies are your department. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Take it. Gently. You supposed to eat it or? Whoa. Okay. You can't sit there. I'm waiting for someone. You're waiting for me. I don't think so. New face. I had the old one for six thousand years. I just thought it was time for a change. Why did you want to meet me here? Well, if we're going to have background talks, they can't be in either of our home territories. And what do we need to discuss? I'm a bloody Geddon. That was a complete and utter pain in the ass. I know, but we are ready for round two. As are we. What about... No Armageddon? An interesting proposal. Song. No one could ever know, of course. Of course. A deal? Every day something is getting closer. Hmm. Then... Then I also like it. Someone's got a crush. I see something. Yeah. No need to ever meet again, is there? None whatsoever. Hey, end up dating. <laughs> wow, the proclaimers. What's that? Yep. That song will always be here on that jukebox mm -hmm. to comfort the afflicted. It's a container, so it's bigger on the inside. You can put things in it. That's the David Tennant's on the show. Don't do that. Gabriel collaborated with hell. I just found something that mattered more to me than choosing sides. This is just the cutest thing ever! You'd like some help? Could you nip down the mini mart and pick me up some cream, oat milk, soy milk, and almond milk? Hmm. I'm on it. I would like to be with Beelzebub. Where Beelzebub is, is my heaven. And where you are, my <laughs> sweet, is forever my hell. <laughs> it can't just every day it's a getting closer going faster <laughs> than a roller coaster <laughs> hey, 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 hey. and who are you for heaven's sake and i mean that most literally you don't know me the metatron <laughs> correct <laughs> this falls much less attention though well we have things to talk about Shall we take a little stroll? Um, go on. They can't get any word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We ought to be talking about it. It's probably best if I start off doing all the talking, you do all the listening, because I, I don't start talking now. I never start talking. Right? Yes. Hold that for. <laughs> you see, I... Oh, I have some incredibly good news. He asked who I thought should take over in heaven now that Gabriel was gone. Uh-huh. I said... Michael? Oh, don't be silly, you. And I said, me? And he said, oh, No. It would certainly be within your jurisdiction to restore your friend, Crowley, to full angelic status. Come back to heaven and, and everything like the old times. 
Oh, no. And you told him just where he could stick it, then? Not at all. Oh, we're better than that. You're better than that. Tell me you said no. Tell me you said no. I can make a difference. I didn't get a chance to say what I was going to say. I think I'd better say it now. I could always rely on you. You could always rely on me. We're a team, a group. A group of the two of us. And I would like to spend... Mm. I mean, if Gabriel and Beelzebub can do it, go off together, then we can. Nothing lasts forever. No. Good luck. Ugh. Good luck. Crowley, Crowley, come back. I, I need you. I don't think you understand what I'm offering you. I understand. You idiot. We could have been us. Forgive you. Don't bother. Ready to start? I. But, um, nothing at all. <laughs> Set into motion the next step in the great plan. Um, yes, you mentioned that. We call it the second coming. How could you walk away from that? Oh, no. Oh. Separated for the credits. Not romantic. Sticking by it. They're just friends. Good friends. Now that was... Well, I mean... Sad. In context. Like, damn it. <laughs> it was sad. It was, man. Like... Because they were basically saying the same thing. They wanted to be together. Mm -hmm. Just not in the same circumstance. And Azarafel couldn't let it go. That... Like, let's go to heaven. Let's change things. Like, mm-mm. Yeah, heaven, it's not going to let you actually change anything. Right, like, you're not God. You're not the boss. There's still Metatron above you, and apparently, Jesus, soon enough again. Who's going to make a quick trip back down to Earth? It's Monday. Yeah, Monday. It's, it's coming, Christians. Just keep on hoping. And holding down people you don't agree with in the meantime. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that was a cool ending. I'm very, like, I want season three now. I'm mad. Yeah. That we have to wait now. That's a bunch of shit. Wait for like a long they, time, They too. both admit they love each other and want to be together. Cat's tearing up the, the upstairs because he's so pissed off about it. But, yeah, they, they admit they want to be together. They kiss briefly, like, to the point where Aziraphale's, like, in tears. I'm sure you imagined that would happen, but never thought it would, you know. Right. And yeah, Crowley can't go to heaven, and I understand. Just like, like what you know, if Crowley offered, like, let's, I, I got a position waiting for me in hell. Come with. Or Zerfell wouldn't have went. Same thing. Right, but Crowley was in heaven, like and so. Uh, Zerfell even more so why he wouldn't go because he knows right. how fucked up it is. So, right. but I mean, Gabriel and Beals. Beals was Ran adorable. Off to some stars. Wherever, system, yeah. Some Wherever. I like how, you know, they took away all the the green light and shined up Beelzebub a little bit. All of a sudden she's freaking adorable. You know? Very pretty. But oh, uh, that was interesting. And yeah, like uh, comments were saying like they gave they gave us all the clues throughout the show. Mm -hmm. They did. 
for the most part. I knew it was the fly. Yeah, I said we knew it was that right away. Fly. We saw the fly fly out of the box right away, and uh, didn't know it. Eyeball at first, but eye. yeah, I but shit. I mean, that was cool. That was a really cool little season. It was kind of a mid, you know, middle of the road season, like bridge season, if you will. But it was awesome. Mm-hmm. That was cool. I'm so excited to see what they do with season three. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comments. Let us know what you thought of that one. Yeah, we'll jump into it when it comes in like a year and a half, two years, whenever this damn strike gets over and they can start working. Well, they're British, though. It's still SAG. No, they're under a different contract because House of Dragons is filming. They they're well, they were told they're a different union. Hmm. They're a, it's a sister union. Okay. Well, good. Maybe in a year then. <laughs> but either way, we'll be here for it. We're doing lots of other fun stuff on the channel. Keep an eye out. We're doing Wheel of Time right now. We'll be starting Loki season two soon. Uh, Invincible comes out soon. We'll be doing that. At least I will be. But she didn't watch that with me. You know what I'm talking about, dude? It's a cartoon. Superheroes. It's good. You should check it out. It's really good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. And thank you for watching our How We Met show. That is how we met. From heaven. She's an angel. No, we're both demons. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Cheers.